Hello everyone, this is Ekalpana here. So in this video, we are going to find the curved surface area of a cone where radius and vertical height is given. Okay, problem. The radius of a cone is 3 cm and vertical height is 4 cm. Then find the area of a curved surface. Okay. The radius of a cone is 3 cm and vertical height is 4 cm. So we are given... Solution given radius R equals to three centimeter and vertical height. H equals to 4 centimeter. So here we have to find area of the curved surface. Okay. But we know that or we have Curved surface area of a cone is pi r l square units. Okay. In order to find the value of curved surface area or curved surface area, we need the value of r and l. But we are having the value of R and we are having vertical height but not the slant height. So firstly we will find the value of slant height. Slant height. Okay. Let us consider the cone. Okay, we are given h equals to 4 centimeters and r equals to 3 centimeters. Let us consider the right angle h, l, r. Let's name them as a, b, c. Not name them. Let's name this right angle triangle as ABC. Okay. In triangle, in right angle triangle, ABC. Triangle ABC using Pythagoras theorem. We have AC square equals to AB square plus BC square, that is AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. Okay, here AC is L, so replace AC by L, we we'll get L square, which is equals to, replace AB by H, H square plus BC by R, R square, okay. So we have 
L square equals to H square plus R square. Now substitute the values of H and R here. Since we are having H equals to 4 centimeters and R equals to 3 centimeters. So we will get 4. Okay, you can write it as 4 centimeter whole square plus 3 centimeter whole square. So this equals to 4 square into centimeter square plus 3 square into centimeter square. 4 fours are 16, 16 centimeter square plus 3 three is a 9, 9 centimeter square. So you can take centimeter square form and then you'll get 16 plus 9 into centimeter square. 16 plus 9 is 25. Let's check it out. 6 plus 9 is 15. 1 plus 1 is 2. So totally 25. So this implies L square equals to 25 centimeter square. From this we'll get L equals to square root of 25 centimeter square. So you can write it as square root of 25 into square root of centimeter square. Square and root gets cancelled. We know that root 25 is root of 5 square, which is equal to 5 into centimeter. Therefore, slant height. Slant height L equals to 5 centimeters. Okay. Now, we can find curved surface area of the given cone. Area of the curved surface is nothing but curved surface area. Curved surface area of a cone is given by pi r l square units okay or is equal to okay take pi equals 22 by 7 into r is 3 centimeter into l 5 centimeter so this is equals to 22 by 7 into 3 pi is a 15 centimeter into centimeter centimeter square. Now multiply 22 and 15 by 2 is a okay. 2 pi is a 10, 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 1 3. Got 330 by 7 centimeter square. Now we are going to divide 330 by 7. Sound 4 is 28, sound 5 is 35. So take sound 4 28. 13 minus 8 is 5. 7, 5 is 35. 7, 7 is 49. Okay. 1. And 7 is 7. 7 fours are 24. 7 twos are continue. Okay. So this equals to 47.14 centimeters square. Okay. It keeps going. So let's start it here. Sorry, let's stop it here.
let's take it as the answer so we are having sorry we got curved surface area of a cone is 47.14 cm square okay so therefore curved surface area of a cone is 47.14 cm square this completes the problem okay so we have seen a problem in this video hope you will understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye